when you won the world title and you you're coaching for somebody who won the world title at twenty four was it Billy Joel? Yeah. At twenty four. How were you accepted? Was there well, any question marks? it was a bad performance, marks? but I actually took over probably three or four weeks before, and he was really struggling with his weight. I'd been working with him the whole way through, so I sort of knew what position he was in. And my thinking at the time was, he can't afford to win these rounds big, because he ain't got the gas tank for it for this fight, because he's, he was really struggling with his weight. Um, and I know what he's like. So I remember he come back to the corner, but again, people are thinking 24-year-old, probably doesn't know this, doesn't know that. He lost the round, but he come back to the corner. I purposely told him he won that round on purpose because I knew if I told him he lost it, he would have come out and worked so hard to win that round. So um, I purposely told him that he won the round just to keep him calm. And I already had in my mind, I, I know Billy Joe personally before going into this fight, and I thought I know how to get what I need out of him. But it was about picking the right moment. And this guy that he was boxing was not the most, not experienced at that level. And I thought to myself, one, we can't afford to shoot our tank too early. But I know he's going to have his own doubts of doing the rounds at world championship level. So I thought around that mark when that question starts to usually come in around rounds eight, rounds nine, that's when we need to push the pace. him Because I know what he'll start thinking. He'll start having doubts. Can I do the pace? Can, have I got four, five, six rounds left in me? So I thought if we can save his energy and use round that seven, eight, nine to really push on, then those doubts are gonna creep in the other guy's mind and we can sort of control the pace from there on out and use that guy's doubts against him. So it was about, the importance was mostly round management and also, you know, Billy Joe wasn't, he was seasoned, but you know, it was his first offense of his world title, first fight not working with Jimmy Tibbs. And I thought, I don't wanna completely change the, the way he's used to being communi communicated to in the corner. Um, but people would never think, oh, 24 years old, he's thinking about these things. Um, was there all a question marks on your ability to get into that fight? Uh, afterwards, because it, wasn't and a, afterwards? Yeah, because it wasn't a great performance from Billy Joe. But I think it was easily, a, not because of the opponent, but because of the way he'd done his weight, um, it was definitely a potential slip up. It could have gone a lot worse if he wasn't economical and efficient. Um, but I always had sort of confidence in in my ability. And yeah, why do you think Billy Joel performs better when he's underdog? Um, he seems to pick. He seems to. F I don't know all that when he's. Well, I'll put it like this: If you was to do a hundred meter race against someone that you know you can win at. Mm -hmm your own specific time of what you recorded when you know you can win that race quite comfortably would not be the same if you thought, I don't know if I can beat this fella in a race. I guarantee your time would be quicker Improve. against the guy that you thought, hmm, I'm not 100% sure I can win this race, so I need to. Do you see that with a lot of boxers if they know they're going in favourite? Even does their work rate slow down? Even with sparring, I say this to Josh, because they've got the big gloves and the head guard, there's just a lack of respect for... Sometimes it just almost switches off as a case of, because uh, it's not that respect. But when you get in there and they've got eight ounce gloves on, it's, I'm not giving this fella a chance. So how do you plant the seeds in their mind to pick up the pace? Um, Is there a kind of mind fucking in there? Like, there they're... can be with some things, but I also think it's just a case of like, what's actually happening doesn't change. How you feel doesn't change what's actually happening. It's so easy to go, yeah, if a boxer doesn't have a performance, good performance, um, to go, oh, I was weight drained, or, oh, I didn't this, oh, it was this, oh, it was that. Okay, all of what you're saying is great, but that's how you feel, what actually transpired and happened in the ring. Um, so I don't really focus on how somebody feels, I focus on what's uh, actually happening, you know? But Billy Joel, man, phenomenal fighter, I believe, and <laughs> absolute animal, and I've seen photos there just yesterday, and he's the best shit I've ever seen him. How does that make you feel to seeing that? Somebody you've known your whole life then fighting the biggest fight in his life. And I know he can win that fight. I believe so. I believe so. Reason being because I believe everybody thinks he's the underdog and it, he's the kind of guy that gets pissed off, I believe, and to prove people wrong. I think there's, And I hope he does. He's a, he's a showman. Boxing needs that kind of guy. Just zero fucks given. Says how it is. I can clearly see with a smile on your face how <laughs> yeah. happy you are for him. Like, how is that when you see fighters going for that for the biggest fights of their life? How proud do you feel that you're part of that journey? You're part of yeah. his story. 
to get him to that level as well. Yeah, of course, and I want to see him do it. And uh, I worked a lot of him in most of his fights, really, most of his title fights. And even for this fight, he come down to the gym and had a few days down the gym where we sort of went through, this is what I think Canelo's going to do, this is what I think you need to do. Um, and then we've done some film studies for him, sent it over to him, um, just to say, look, this is my opinion. You know, this is what I think. And I think this fight's going to boil down to who's better prepared. Not physically, not who's be who's more fit, who's better prepared for the up. Because the level of IQ in that boxing ring will be a joke. Ridiculous. Canelo's IQ is ridiculous and Billy Joe's IQ is ridiculous. Um, so I just think it's going to be a battle of who is more tactically aware, who understands what their opponent's trying to achieve by what they're doing.